Super Bradley Dose, welcome back to my channel. We're still in Rome and I want to show you what's happening with this new development. Alright, that's the East Bank. East Bank bypass road, so that's all the traffic that would normally come on the East Bank. It's now being diverted to this new bypass road, which is a good thing for commuting to the city in the mornings. It's Wednesday morning in Georgetown. But they're building a new warehouse, lease warehouses, it says, pre construction. And this is what they've completed so far. Over here, like I said, this is an outlet mall that's being built. Compared, I would say, to, to Tanger Outlet Mall at Riverhead. But pretty much smaller, it's about a tenth of the size. You know, Tanger is a really big, big outlet mall. I you know Tanger malls are all over the US, so Tanger is not just on Long Island, it's all along the East Coast in most states. But this is what it looks like in this neighborhood, in this neck of the woods. You can see a lot of land still to be developed. Right, a lot of land still to be developed. This is land that will be eventually built out. That's not being north. All right, it's about 6.30, almost seven in the morning on a weekday, Wednesday morning in Georgetown. And that's what it looks like here at the East Bank. That direction in about half a mile is the new traffic circle with the Jaguar and the pool, which is now being referred to as the Eccles Mandela Interchange. Eccles Mandela Avenue Peters Hall Interchange. And all of this area is eventually going to become commercial and residential property. Now people have asked me, you know, about how to buy land in Guyana and how to, especially if you're, you want to buy land for commercial development you probably need to contact the government for that but there are a lot of real estate agents operating in Guyana there's now recently a real estate uh, body an organization it's just been formed I think within the last few days to organize the real estate agents to manage quality control in real estate industry and that is the current state of affairs so you need to contact a real estate agent or you need to contact the government through its um, housing and planning ministry or the lands and survey department so if you want to buy land in Guyana, yeah, there's only two ways to do it. You either go through lands and surveys or a real estate agent, right? There's the Ministry of Housing or in a private market, contacting a real estate agent. Those are the only two ways to get land in Guyana. But all of this land that I'm showing you right now, that land has already been purchased usually been purchased by by people in government right the 
politicians tend to buy up all this land because they normally have advanced information of the development. Like they probably knew that these roads are going to be built, and so they bought up all the land along this route before this road was constructed. So that's what it looks like now in 2024. This next community is called Sage Bond. This traffic is heading into Georgetown from the East Bank. Right, this is the East Bank Bypass Road. And west of this neighborhood is Eccles, the neighborhood of Eccles. I'll actually show some videos with some housing developments in Eccles. and Peter's Hall. So if you want to see what has been built and what you can buy in Eccles and Peter's Hall, check out previous videos that I made in this area. And at the next intersection, right, it's the next intersection, that's where the East Coast Bypass is going to connect. So right now there's a road being built from Ogo that will come out at the traffic circle ahead. I will cover that road in the next video as the developments, the latest, latest development on the East Coast Bypass Road, which we've seen at Ogle, nice being built by the Indian government, well, in collaboration with a loan from the Indian government. And I'm going to cover that in the next video, probably tomorrow. But this is where it's going to come out. It's going to come out at that uh, traffic circle in, in the distance. Let's go take a closer look at it and then we'll summarize this video. Here we are guys, this is the traffic circle. What is referred to now as the Eccles, Mandela Avenue, Peters Hall interchange. And this is where the East Coast bypass road from Ogle is gonna end up. So in that direction, that's where the East Coast Bypass Road is coming from. I promise to follow it all along the route connecting to this point in a future video. As you can see, there's more construction going on here. That's all new. New construction. Don't know what they're building yet. They built a police outpost. So that's a police outpost that's built here. And that's the new road connecting to Peters Hall and to the bridge. So if you want to follow this road, eventually you get to the Demerara Har Harbor Bridge, but not particularly complete at this point. We're not particularly completed at this point. Let's take a look at what is, in fact, yeah, the main attraction in this neck of the woods is this And the interchange. This is the traffic circle at this interchange. Road continues south from this point. That's the famous sculpture of a jaguar. And people are arguing that 
the Harpy Eagle at the South Ramveld Mandela Avenue interchange that should be upgraded to something that looks in keeping with these other sculptures there's an anteater at the next traffic circle at Diamond and people are saying that these sculptures should all be done in a similar manner and quality somebody called these reflecting pools I don't know they're just water holes to me but this is what I was saying about the name it's now been called Heroes Highway I guess in um, in honor of the soldiers who died in that helicopter accident trying to protect the borders a situation which I suppose as I suggested in pre previous videos is deeply political in its cause and its nature so you want to take about that take from that as you choose but that's the direction in which that's the south Hero, heroes highway has been named from that point south and this is the original plaque somebody said that this is not an interchange well this is what it's called it's called the Mandela Eccles Peters Hall Ogle interchange and Rotonde so that's where that's where the word interchange comes from the word I'm using to describe this traffic circle but that's it guys that's what's happening in this neck of the woods share this video with friends and family around the world let people know what's happening in Georgetown Guyana the fastest growing economy in the world later